Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden Household. I need to check this one out, you know, after checking out Pliny's video. This is Arc Echo. This is Color Wheel. Alright guys, so, Arc Echo. I almost watched this video on my own off the channel at one point. I think it was actually after watching uh, the Pliny video to begin with, it popped up on the side, but I didn't. And then someone actually asked off the Pliny video that we did uh, for Kind to check this one out. So, looks like I'll be checking it out after all. Uh, I've never listened to these guys before. I'm assuming they're somewhere along the lines of that style, you know, Pliny and all those guys, that, that similar style, if it's popping up on the side. I really hope it is because, uh, as I've said before, it's one of my favorite styles of prog nowadays is Pliny, C2A, uh, Nick Johnson, you know, uh, David Maxim Micic, uh, James Norbert Ivani, all those guys are some of my favorites left to listen to. I just want to chill, listen to something space out a bit, maybe even, uh, depending on, you know, what songs choose by them. So, let's see what Arc Echo has to give. You can already hear the similarity right off the bat. Just gonna lower that a little bit because it's gonna get loud. Hey! It's definitely right up that alley. So this will most likely be an instrumental all the way through. Whoa. Beautiful instruments. Bass is pretty uh, plain and fender, but uh, it's like a Strandberg and I can't even, I don't even know what that other guitar is on the left. Beautiful touch. Fuck yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm actually so in love with this keyboard player. That's a nice touch. I'm definitely gonna want to listen to these guys some more. God damn. That's a beautiful Strandberg. You hear that touch on the keyboard there? It's so jazzy. 
not to take away from that solo, but that that was that nice touch on the keyboard was beautiful. Two beautiful solos. Yeah. Beautiful transition. Woo! Oh man. Still going. Man, dude, man, what the fuck? Are these guys new? This is a game out on October 1st of last year. It's almost a year ago. And I've never heard of these guys before now. That's crazy. That was fucking one of the best things I've heard in a while. It just kind of blew me away there for a second. <laughs> let me just let me just gather my thoughts on this because. I don't feel like I can be specific on what parts were blew me away because it was the whole thing as a whole. Perfect transitions, really great riffs uh, from everyone. Great fills on the drums. It feels like um, like the drummer, the keyboardist, uh, both had some form of jazz training to a certain degree, just from certain ways they played. I don't know if it actually if they actually are, but I got that feeling. Uh, the part when he uh, first guitarist of the Strandberg was uh, doing a solo and I mentioned the keyboard parts in the back it sounded so jazzy to me as if he had studied in jazz to a certain degree at some point or listens to jazz because it, it came off completely jazzy uh, fucking loved it just the, the I feel like just the way the drummer was playing it felt like the guy either listens to jazz or is super influenced by a lot of prog drummers maybe or other drummers that have jazz influences because just certain touches he had and it uh, just came off that way um, then afterwards they have the two guitarists man both super talented both of them both their solos were amazing the riffing going on here was amazing and just as a whole it came off great um, obviously when I said that it's great to see a keyboardist because a lot of times a lot of these bands when they make their music videos or whatever you know Pliny, when you say Pliny usually you just think of Pliny you know um, he has his band that plays with him. Is Luke Martin usually plays piano, slash keyboards uh, for for him uh, for a while now, and usually goes on tour with him too. But when you talk about playing, you don't think of you know the other member of the keyboardist. You know, these guys is present here right in the music video, and uh, from what I would gather, seems like he would be a uh, uh, staple of the band. Uh, I could see another one here. It says my heart sometimes it's guitar and keyboard playthroughs so obviously he's the main staple in the band you don't you may not see that as much C3A same thing there's keyboard parts in it 
but there's no keyboardist who's just there, part of, like main part of the group, you know. There's this, uh, on the side stuff like that is what it, is what it comes off as. So it was nice to see a uh, keyboardist, you know, they are present, one of the main members of the band, and uh, and all that. Uh, there's a keyboard. There's some, there's a thing that I find it's a keyboard when there's actually a person there who's that's specifically their instrument. There's always certain things that tend to happen that you just don't get when you're writing keyboard parts and it's not your main instrument uh, you know your main instrument's like guitar, bass maybe I, I just feel like they just have a di there's just a different wave uh, wave pattern in their brain there they come up with some stuff that just kind of blows you away um, and I felt like I got that here and all I could keep imagining was if this guy could have a rolly seaboard those of you who don't know who it is basically he kept reaching to the far left uh, for pitch control and all that to switch his pitch and do different sounds well on the seaboard you have all that control on your fingertips on the keyboard itself. Um, you don't have to reach for that switch. All the controls, each keyboard, uh, each uh, keyboard part, you can change the pitch by rolling up or down on the key. You can go side to side. You can hold that note and slide it all the way down on the bottom. Um, so I, I, I'm always curious. Like I feel like that should just be what every keyboardist has at this point because it's just the next style of keyboard that everyone should have, in my opinion. I'd just love to see what musicians like this guy here on the keyboard could do with that. Anyway, I'm going off a lot about the keyboardist. The whole band was impressive, uh, but I do I did have to say the keyboard keyboardist did catch my eye a lot here, and I really want to check these guys out more. Thank you, whoever it was. Sorry, I can't remember uh, all the names. I have a lot of people that comment on the channel. It's hard to remember the names at this point. Um, thank you for telling me to check this one out. I knew it was a good idea to bump it up to the top of the list to check it out. I knew it was going to be in the style that I love. Um, you know, a lot of times I check out a lot of power metal, uh, stuff like that. It's not always my main... I like it, but it's not my main style of music that I usually listen to on my own time. So every once in a while it's nice to bump up a few that are, are you know, my style as well. You know, So we're not always doing the same thing over and over again. Um, so thanks again for that one. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to check uh, these guys out too some more if you enjoy them, because I know I want to. And I'd like to listen to more of them as well if you guys can give me that. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm also on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.